So I am Miller, the bald a-hole here, walking the streets of Dallas, Texas with no voice. The reason for both of these things is that I'm currently out here for WrestleMania. It is Monday morning as I record this, so night two is in the books. First and foremost, I apologize I haven't recorded more content. I always plan to, but these trips can be, I mean, they're awesome and they're exciting and I love them, but they can be pretty full on. But I do have a bunch of content that I have filmed that I'm gonna put up as soon as I'm back, which is on Wednesday. So please do forgive me for that. Also, please forgive my tired, <laughs> tired, tired face. And you would think that my voice is gone, you know, from going to the shows and, and, and screaming and stuff, but actually it's not at all. It's from doing the ups and downs videos, which I do for One Culture Wrestling. That's one of the reasons I'm out here. So again, please do check them out as well to see it. And the cool thing about the WrestleMania shows or any live shows we do is uh, we get live crowds when we, do, when we do those videos. And that's the reason I just wanted to make this now. because I thought I'm walking, I'm gonna get a coffee, I'm gonna get some breakfast. And I may as well just uh, load up probably shaky cam iPhone walk around in the USA and just say, I'm, I really appreciate all of you. I really do. I want to thank you from the bottom of my of my bald head and my stupid tum-tum because never in my wild, I mean, look, we can take this all the way back. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that reviewing wrestling was going to be a job. Like when I was a massive wrestling fan at like, you know, eight, nine, 10 years old, you would tell me, oh yeah, someone's going to, you know, pay you money to review Raw, SmackDown, AEW, you know, whatever it would be. I would have thought they were crazy. And I think most people would have thought they were crazy. But the fact that I do get to do this, which I'm very aware of, I always try and stay grounded and I always try and stay, well, I like to try and keep my self-awareness up because I think it's important. You never want to get ahead of yourself. But the fact that I do get to do that and I can fly hundreds of miles around the world and, you know, people are genuinely engaged and they're genuinely invested. And then, I mean, look, it's happening right now. How you doing, buddy? You good, man? I'm literally, I'm literally recording a vlog saying thank you for things like this. So I'm going to walk in the road, as I probably should do. I'm going to give you a fist hey, bump and I'm going to say up, thank you very much. Hey. What's your name, dude? Be on it. Chris McNasty. Dude, We're from Phoenix. Dude, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you much. Amen. And you work for C4 maybe. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, I like yeah. that stuff. You've, ke you've kept me alive during this trip. Oh, awesome. No sleep whatsoever. You see? I mean, I, I, that sounds like I planned it. <laughs> I didn't plan it at all. And then, so you get that constantly and it, you know, it even blows your head. And then you... Um, yeah, we do the shows and people just going crazy and telling you how much it means to them and uh, I think the big thing for me and this is the well aside from wanting to a platform just to say thank you for being the greatest people ever and for making me feel awesome is that when I started doing it as much as I do in my you know stuff on my YouTube channel hopefully you've noticed if you do watch is I always wanted to take a positive take on things now the main reason for that is because that's what I do in my own walk of life I'm not saying I'm positive all the time but I, I try and always keep a positive outlook on, on life. And sometimes, you know, keeping a positive outlook on life means accepting the negatives. And I remember when I first started doing all of that, got across the road somehow. When I first started doing that, I did, I got, not that I care, I got quite thick skin, but I got a lot of flack for it. And uh, some people even said, oh, he's making this up. He's putting it on, which is not true. But to see that go full circle and get to a point where, I'm gonna sound so cheesy now. This is gonna sound like some kind of, uh, I think I got the wrong way actually. I have, I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> I see that go full circle and you know, see positive energy being greeted by positive energy. And in this case, just see a bunch of wrestling fans want to enjoy wrestling. It's just great and it's just awesome. And it's kind of one of those things where you think to yourself, I'm glad that I did this. And I'm glad that I took this. Cause I mean, it's so easy. Like, I don't, you do whatever you want, man. Your opinions, your opinions. And if you are a YouTube content creator and you're getting good views and engaged with your negativity, I mean, I'm, who am I to, to criticize you? But I just think sometimes it's so easy to look for the things that are bad, especially in pro wrestling, because a lot of it is crap. But not a lot of it, but some bits of crap. But, I, you know, to take a second and go, okay, well, how can I you know, pull the good out of this? What do I actually enjoy? Especially because it's meant to be an entertainment medium. And like I said, see a bunch of people who were feeling that same way. And let's just say it how people say it. Man, I can be wiggling around because it's killing my arm. You know, I'm just going to change my hand. Who cares? So I'm like, I can turn it upside down. I'm not editing this. I'm just going to throw it up. But yeah, to get that kind of stuff back was, well, it was great. So I thought, well, I have a, a YouTube channel. I like to try and, can I go? I think I can go. I like to try and upload content daily and I haven't been doing that very well recently. But what I can do is I can shove a, shove a camera in my face and I can just say thank you. Although this light is making it look like I've got a Scott Steiner beard. My beard is grey, I'm not going to lie, my beard went grey at 16 years old. I don't have a good relationship with hair. I lost my hair before I even made it to 30. And then my hair went grey when I was 16. I remember my first job, well, we're off, we're off piece now. My first job was, um, well, my first major job was, I used to work in magazines. And I remember during a cover meeting, so I was like you know, 22 years old. And the boss of the company's like, so why is your beard grey? 
Honestly, 16 years old, I grew my first beard, I was with my dad, we were gonna shave and my beard was gray. And it's ridiculous and it's been this way ever since, but um, probably because I'm absolutely exhausted. And with this light and stuff, it looks even worse. Why am I talking about a gray beard? I don't care about my gray beard. I did try to dye it once, it's really difficult. Anyway, the point is this, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, if you're watching this on Monday, we will be at Raw later on, which is our last leg of the trip. So if you do want to come out, please do, please say hello. I think what we'll do is we'll tweet out the exit that we're going to be filming ups and downs on. And you're more than welcome to come and you're more than welcome to make some noise and get involved. Because like I say, it is truly, truly awesome stuff. So if you have been uh, watching WrestleMania and wrestling, I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope that you're well anyway. We shall get back to the bodybuilding and fitness when I return on Wednesday. I have a bunch of videos ready to go. I just need to edit them. Of course, there's always loads and loads of ideas. Otherwise, you know the deal. Like, share, subscribe comment click other videos because youtube loves that i need to get some kind of thing for my voice too because it's definitely going to go Simon miller you take care not edit video look i'm just going to stop it and then i'm going to put it up dallas texas having a good time see you soon